Welcome back. We are continuing our Demolishing Barriers segment this morning with a look at a program that for some is opening doors they never knew existed. Our friend Simone Bruni is joining us this morning in this <laughs> phenomenal <laughs> coat. Wait a minute. First of all, hello. Hi. And Lee. second of all, where did you get this outfit from? Ireland. 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 It's my New Year's cheer. I love it. Well, hey, that's too far for me right now, but luckily you have brought us a local story. Tell us about what we're talking about yes, today. Yes, this is an exciting story. For more than a decade, A's and Aces, a 501c3 organization, has helped introduce the game of tennis to thousands of local students who otherwise would have never had an opportunity to play. Now, this grassroots program needs your help to continue their important mission both on and off the court. For more than a decade now, Chris Brown has spent his time after school on the hard courts of Dillard University, working on his backhand, his forehand, and a college scholarship. I've heard some really good stuff about you. Where is tennis taking you? Uh, hopefully collegiate. I'm looking towards like Villanova, Oglethorpe, and Georgia Tech. Wow. Just from a small camp in the third grade, hitting balls. Now, is anybody in your family in tennis? Uh, no one in my family's in tennis. I'm the first. That's unbelievable. Now, when I toss it to you, do the same thing. Chris is one of thousands of local students who have been introduced to tennis through A's and Aces, a nonprofit brainchild of David Schumacher and Anna Monhardova. David was the head women's tennis coach at Tulane. Anna, his assistant coach, when Katrina hit and disbanded the team. So then we decided that we would try to help in a different way with tennis and introduce tennis to kids who otherwise wouldn't have the opportunity to experience the things that gave us so many things in our life. Step up to it, get around on it, create the angle. Founded in 2008, A's and Aces not only provides instruction on volleys and serves, but math and social studies as well. After school volunteers help students with homework, which must be completed before the pencil can be traded in for the racket. How have you seen the impact in these kids? How has it impacted the community? So we have now seen hundreds of children learning how to play tennis. And we now have two scholars who are in college, one of them at Vanderbilt University wow. on a full academic scholarship. Wow. So every year we graduate more and more children. Every year we work with about 1,000 children. Dillard has made this possible. If we hadn't had access to their tennis courts after their teams didn't come back after Katrina, and the classrooms that they have given us, this wouldn't happen. So we couldn't be more grateful. But the courts and classrooms at Dillard's won't be around for much longer. In fact, plans are in place to build a much needed parking garage where the tennis courts are right now, leaving A's and Aces searching for a more permanent home. Jane, this is your heart and soul, I understand. Oh, I love it. I've, I've been working with A's and Aces, volunteering, I guess 10 years, and the children are just amazing to watch them have such incredible pride in themselves after playing on the court, and I've had a lot of fun in the classroom with them as well. Over 10 years, you're now vice president of this local chapter, and what is your goal? What do you want to see happen? My goal is and has been for A's and Aces to have their own home, their own building, their own courts. It would just be the greatest pride I could ever have. When you say you all need a home, I understand right now the office is your kitchen table. That's right. And uh, basically a place where we can have offices that where, where it's hard to oversee something where you can't see it. Yes. So if, if we have a place where we can be housed for administrative purposes and have a classroom and tennis courts adjacent, that's the ideal and that would be hopefully a, a hub facility. Why don't we do some drills? With spokes throughout the community, sending some off to college while helping others just get started. If you would like to learn how you can keep A's and Aces going, simply log on to azandaces.org and donate today. First of all, excellent story, Simone. Thank you so much. Great questions. I need to know, at the end of the day, how did you find that, that barrier being demolished? This was a great program because 
these kids who are of all walks of life, mm -hmm. different ec economic backgrounds, are exposed to a, a sport that is otherwise a rich man's sport. Yeah. Chris, for example, his parents, Chris now has a scholarship as we saw, ah. but his parents now are avid followers of Wimbledon and the French Open. So it's drawing their parents in. Yes. And so I think that it's exciting just to see that it gives a kid who otherwise would never know this, the rich man's play mm -hmm. and access to a new world. Well, hey, excellent story, Simone. Thank you so oh, much. Yay. You are so great. Happy and Happy New, New Year. Year. Happy New Year to you. I need to get something like that. Trip to Ireland. Here yeah. I come. Well, hey, if you have a story idea for demolishing barriers, please email us at greatday at WWLTV.